it's Heidi and I am back after quite a hiatus from my booktube channel. I apologize for that. It was the end of the school year and I was trying to get my students all figured out before uh, the end of the school year, get their work in, get their grades up and stuff. Um, I also fell into editing a book for an author that I've talked about a lot on my channel, Martina Macti. And she wrote uh, Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things, which I will put right up here. And so the book I was editing was the second book in her series, Dark Dreams and Dead Things, which comes out on July 15th. So if you are interested, please pre-order and I'll leave the pre-order on Amazon link down below. I'm also gonna have an announcement about a Facebook um, event that we're doing for the release of her second book. And I guess I'm not doing it, Martina's doing it, but I am participating. So I was doing that. And so now I'm back and it's finally summer after school got out. I had to do like three weeks of training um, and you know, teacher stuff. And so it's like finally summer. Um, another cool thing is I got a part-time job at Barnes & Noble so I can get some books for cheaper than they normally are because I get an employee discount and then also I'm making more money to buy more books. So that's a good thing. And so yeah, that's what I've been up to. But this video, now that I'm back, is going to be my very first readathon that I've decided to participate in. And that is called the Booktubeathon, and that is going to start on July 18th, which is this coming Monday, and it will go until July 24th, which is the Sunday after that, my dad's birthday. And there are a couple challenges. The 2016 Booktubeathon is hosted by the lovely Ariel Bissett, and I will link her original video down below. And she has a couple challenges for us. So here is my TBR. There are seven challenges to the Booktubeathon, and the first one is to read a book with yellow on the cover. The second one is only read a book after sunset. The third is read a book you discovered through Booktube. The fourth is to read a book by your favorite author, which I have a lot of, so that was kind of hard to choose, but I did choose one. Number five is read a book that is older than you, and a lot of Booktubers are younger than me. I turned 31 in June, so, Oh, I know there's a lot of classics and stuff, but I, anyway, I'll get to it. Number six was read and watch a book to movie adaptation. And then number seven was read seven books. So I have four books planned. That seven books is very intimidating to me because I rarely read a book in a day. I am a slow reader, as I've talked about uh, multiple times on my channel, and I also have a lot of things going on, even though it's summer. Um, I love to be outside in the sun, and I love to hang out with friends and family, so um, although reading is something I love to do, I'm not interested in spending 24 hours a day doing that. Um, I think there needs to be a balance. So I have four books planned. We'll see if I get through those four books, but here's my TBR. So I'm not sure what order I'm gonna read these in. I don't kind of like planning that. I like to just feel out what am I interested in? What am I in the mood for? So I'll just show you the four books and then during the Booktubeathon, I'll just let you know what order I'm reading them in. So the first book I'm going to read is Sanibel Flats by Randy Wayne White. This covers the first challenge, which is read a book with yellow on the cover, and it has the, you know, the yellowish and the clouds and then the sun. Um, and it also is a book by my favorite author. Now, I've read this book already, but I chose this book because, again, four books is intimidating in one week for me. So I chose something that I've already read so I can kind of fly through it because I know what's going to happen. And so I thought that would be something safe for me to choose and also it covers two of the challenges. The next book I'm going to read is Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven and Other Tales. It is a graphic novel. I found this at Barnes & Noble when I was working one day. I was cleaning up the bargain section and they had a ton of these out. I also got Dracula. Um, they have Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It was a lot of classics put into graphic novels. So I know this might not quite meet the challenge of reading a book that's older than you, but the book itself, like The Raven and other tales, are essentially older than I am. It just happens to be set in a graphic novel format. So, and also, I have to be honest, I have not read a graphic novel ever. And I have purchased a couple, and I have a couple in my classroom. I just, ugh, I'm, I'm not there yet. So I figured, I know these stories. Let's see what they're like in a graphic novel. And so it'll help me get into the graphic novels, but it'll also cover reading a book that's older than me. The next book I chose is Isle of the Lost, a Descendants novel by Melissa De La Cruz. This one is my book to movie adaptation. Now, I'm not quite sure which way this went. 
if it was movie and then written into a book or if it was book then written into a movie because the movie Descendants is on Disney, I believe. So I guess it is. But these are really interesting sounding to me and I do have the sequel, so I decided to read this one. And the last book on my TBR for the Booktubeathon this year is This Is Where It Ends by, and oh my gosh, I'm gonna totally butcher this author's name. Uh, Meriki Ninja Camp? Oh, that was probably butchered. Anyway, this covers the book that I found through BookTube. I heard a couple people talk about this when it was going to come out, and it's about a school shooting. And being that I work in a school, uh, it's just something that's so relevant to me, and I kind of want to see where it goes and, and see what happens. So this is the book I'm using for that challenge. The one challenge I couldn't plan for was read a book only after sunset because We'll just have to see where my schedule goes. And I'm just proud that I have four books chosen and I'm gonna participate in this readathon. So I'm really excited about it. There are some video competitions they have every day. I haven't seen any of those posted yet, but um, if I have time, I'm going to hopefully participate in some of those. Ariel, thanks so much for putting this together. I'm very excited about the Booktubeathon. And thanks so much for watching my video. I'm back, I'm making about four or five videos today. So you're gonna see the same outfit in the same frizzy hair. It's kind of muggy in Minnesota, very humid. And so those of you with naturally curly hair, you know how this rolls. Goes up in a ponytail. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will be back with another video soon. Bye everyone.